assessment in higher education measures whether students are learning from their studies what the department promises they'll learn. Rather than looking at individual courses, program assessment looks at the program as a whole. It's the idea behind that old saying that the whole is greater than the sum of the parts. Yet, assessment experts in the field report that faculty members resist participating in program assessment. So my research focuses on faculty member attitudes towards assessment. But I have to wonder, why would they resist program assessment? I mean, faculty members assess all the time. They look at their students' work. They grade them. Faculty members give each other feedback on articles, their teaching, and more. In fact, assessment in general is so prevalent in higher education, it's the water we're swimming in. So what's the problem with program assessment? Well, my initial preliminary research is showing that faculty members actually enjoy program assessment when it gives them information about their curriculum and their students. So for example, if there's one course in the curriculum, say multiple sections, and the failure rate suddenly rises for all of those sections, assessment can shed light on what's going on. In one particular case, it revealed that the failing students were overwhelmingly transfer students, which gave the faculty members and the department much needed information about how to respond. That kind of program assessment, faculty members tend to like. But my preliminary research is also showing that faculty members resist program assessment when the demand is immediate, sporadic, and from an external source. So a department may write an assessment report, submit it, and never hear back. Or they may hear back later that funding decisions will be made from that report, programs merged or dissolved. And beyond that uncertainty, faculty members resent the time, the encroachment on their time when they're facing ever-increasing class sizes and fewer colleagues, meaning more work. That kind of program assessment, they don't like. And it turns out that their attitudes are really important because they are the people on the ground who know what students are being taught. And if they, or administrators, or really anyone, confuse these two different kinds of assessment, we lose critical information about the program and what our graduates can and cannot do. You know, resisting program assessment is a lot like building a multi-million dollar ship without knowing whether it can float or not, without being able to promise the passengers anything about their journey. So my research looks at faculty member attitudes towards assessment as a way, an initial step, to improve the process as a whole. Thank you.